guys, what is up? It's Avi again with more Sakura Card Cutter Clear Cards episode review. So, yesterday, Sunday morning, it was episode 8, and it's called Sakura the Clock and the Game of Hide and Seek. This episode starts with Sakura and Tomoya walking together for school. Sakura complains about her brother not giving her a proper critic. Sakura, as she was looking at some butterflies, she speaks out loud and comments that she wanted to walk in the sky. And of course, Tomoyo wants to film her with her new costume. Akiho shows shortly after, bringing with her her plushie Momo. And Sakura, of course, shows Carol, but accidentally she's like strangling him. Quite funny scene. Tomoyo is intrigued in how Akiho is walking with them. Akiho simply replies that her house is nearby, so she's walking. Sakura asks what kind of house she lives in. Akiho replies that it's a standalone house that was once a house of a transfer student before. Sakura needs to see the house to make sure that is the house she's thinking of. And when Akiho shows the house on her smartphone, it's Ariel's house. Hmm. Huh. Transfer student like Akiho, Ariel from England, just like Akiho was before, and Ariel is from England. And. Oh my god, this conspiracy. When they arrive to school, Akiho invites Sakura, Tomoyo, and Chaura, of course, to her house. Curious about it, Sakura speaks to Shara about it, but sadly, he has things to do. Or does he? Anyway, there is a cute scene between them. I just can't complain, oh, it's so cute. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. After the school club activities and Sakura returns home, as she goes to her room, she has yet another dream of the clock place thingy with that mysterious person. Kara wakes her up and he was worried that yeah, she got hurt because out of the blue she fell to the ground. Anyway, on the second part of the episode, Sakura and Tomoyo are arriving at Akiho's new house that was Ariel's house. Sakura seems somewhat nervous. When they enter the house, they are greeted by Akiho and her caretaker, Yuna. I mean, this guy looks extremely familiar from my taste. Just look at that watch. Look at it! After some cake and tea, because Akiho hates coffee just like Sakura, and if she drinks coffee, it has to have milk and lots of milk and sugar. I'm the same way. I can't take the taste of coffee. I don't like it. You're not an adult if you don't like coffee. Well, my body does not tolerate coffee. So, don't blame me. After this short break, they go to the library, which... Akiho shows a small sample of the books they have. Yeah. Small. <laughs> small. Akiho explains why she came to Japan. It was for a specific book. Sakura, however, sends a present of a card. Hmm. No wonder. So Sakura creates a diversion. So Akiho goes to grab the book in her room so they can see it. While Akiho went back to get the book, Sakura and Tomoyo find a missing space on the shelf. Things are there, just invisible. Harry Potter invisible cloak. That's some Harry Potter shit, just saying. Anyway, this was an easy capture of the Lucid card. It was just Secure. There you go. She got the card. It's the invisible cloak of Harry Potter. It is. Just look at that. 
A few seconds after, Akiho shows up with a book. Sakura noticed the clock on the book. Why does she notice the clock and not the fact that looks like Sakura cards book? Or the old claw cards book? She didn't notice that. She just noticed the clock that is in her dreams. I'm surprised she didn't notice that. Did she forgot her cards? Hope not. This book is called Alice in the Clockland. This kinda reminds me the time of the first series when Sakura uh, in the Wo Wonderland. You know? I don't know if you watched that episode from the first series where... You know? She went big, she went small. And the queen, I think it was Tomoyo. So, yeah, it was a funny episode that reminded me for some reason. This episode ends with Ruby yelling at Spinel because she is extremely worried about Sakura, Toya, Yue and everyone else. But Ariel and Kano say it's not the right time to help them. Not just yet. But right at the end we see Shora looking at his magical table. He didn't have plans after all. He was looking after Sakura. So this was the episode of Sakura the Clock and the Game of Hide and Seek. What did you thought about the episode? I mean I know I'm doing this on my own free will and I don't know if people are watching but still I want to make this a regular thing on my channel so I hope you can bear with me about this so I still don't know what to do on a tutorial or in a I don't know I don't know what else to do I need to think up of something because now I'm free with my Persona 3 portable episode so everything is catched up so yeah I'll be seeing you guys on my next episode either is a drawing a speed paint or anything related to this channel oh I was hoping I could do a voiceover with someone the girl who likes pink I don't know if you know her but if we do this collab uh, comic dub, I hope you guys will watch it. With that said guys, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure if you haven't subscribed yet to hit that subscribe button and that bell. So comment, like, share with people that must like and like I said, subscribe if you haven't yet. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time and until then, take care.